In this lesson, we're going to look how we can run our FTP server and then FTP to our files on our XAMPP server. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So now let's open up our XAMPP and we're going to start up our Apache server and we're also going to start up FileZilla. So immediately when you start up FileZilla, it's going to actually ask you to allow access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and allow access. It, typically firewalls on Windows machines, they're going to block those. Uh, so just go ahead and set that up. Uh, so one of the things that you can do, you can select, uh, you've got the same options here where you've got admin. So you can open up your admin connecting to the server. You can set up an admin password and so on. So you don't, if you're just doing it on your machine, then you don't necessarily need to do that. And what happens when you run your admin, then you're up and running and basically, uh, so it's waiting for authentication and it's logging on to your server. So if all of the default settings are good, then you're all ready to go. So once you've set this up and once you've run the admin, uh, you've got your server console and this is the server console here. So this is actually going to be different than uh, running your FTP client because this is an FTP server. And this is a FileZilla FTP server and you don't necessarily need to use FileZilla to connect to it because this just means that you've got FTP up and running. So now you're all ready to go to access FTP. Uh, so one of the things that you do need to know is you need to actually set up a user within FTP. And in order to set up users, we've got, we're going over to uh, the console here and we've got some options. So I just click this user button here and we've got an option general and this is where we can add in a user. So I'm just going to call him test and we don't need to make him a member of a group. We do have an option to make him a member of a group if we want. Uh, so we don't need to necessarily do that. We can set a password for him. So I'm going to set test as well. Uh, we've got some options here where we can force SSL for user login and so on. So there's quite a few options here if we need to or if we wanted to uh, set this up running our server. So once we're set up and running, we need to set up the root directory in order to give that user access. Uh, so let's go over and find our shared directory on our computer. And I'm gonna set it as that K websites uh, forwards or backslash JS. So this is gonna be the root folder that I want FTP users to be able to access. And that's the really neat thing about this is that you don't necessarily need to set your root folder that you're using within your local host as the root folder that you want to use within this application as well. So once you've set that up, you're all ready to go. You see that the control panel here that we've got sending account settings, please wait, done sending account settings. So basically what this means is we are all ready to go to connect to our XAMPP FTP server using an FTP client. So let's pop over to here and I'm going to show you how you can make that connection. So what we can do for the host, because we know it's just that host machine, host server, so we can put in that IP address the port that we're connecting, so we're not on any secure port, we're just going to use 21. Again, it's it's right on our computer, so we don't necessarily need to uh, worry about that. And then we just put in those credentials that we set up. We can do a quick connect, and boom, there we go. We see that we've got that. Uh, this is the remote site, so it's F. It's that root folder that we've got our index file here, so all on the same computer. And over here, I've got some WordPress files. So let's say, for instance, I was FTPing some WordPress files over into that directory. We can see that the server is doing the transfer. And then this is our, our folder here. And it looks like we're having an error copying it over. We see permission denied. So over here in this side, we're seeing the permission denied. So that just means that we've got to update some of the settings for the users. So we've got our shared folders. Right now we've got read. Uh, so we'll do write and append. Uh, so we'll save all of that there. 
And now let's go back and try that again. And we see that we are able to transfer it over. So by default, make sure that you are taking care and you are up updating those settings properly. Again, if this is something that you want to use. And we see that now what we've effectively done is transferred that file via FTP over into our folder and it's usable. So this just basically means that we can also have our main server files if we've got an FTP client set up and if whenever we commit something it FTPs it right to the server, we can still use XAMPP in order to run it on our local machine. Now, as mentioned before, I don't personally use this feature a whole lot myself, uh, just because I find that whenever I'm doing development work, I've got my uh, local machine, I've got my browser open, I've got my editor open, and then that's all I need. But again, some editors, they're gonna default, you wanna really simulate your, uh, your upload environment to your server, uh, you've got some editors that will allow you to automatically commit it to the server. Uh, in that case, then you can set that up that way and make your commits and run it as you would. So uh, this is what I meant by XAMPP has a lot of options within it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. We've also got some logs and information if we want to check that out uh, in regards to what our setup was doing and what was happening. So basically, in the next lesson, we're going to look at some help files and so where, where you can turn to and find out even more information about XAMPP and to get working with XAMPP quickly. So it does have help files that come with the installation so you can go ahead and check those out. So I'm going to be looking at those in the upcoming lesson.